A madarsa for girl students in West Bengal, Simulia has emerged as a crucial link to the Bardwan blast investigation. NIA officials have now recovered substantial quantities of explosives, jihadi literature in Urdu and Bengali, sharp-edged weapons and air gun pellets as well. The NIA team, which has been conducting searches at the Maradasa and adjoining areas, has also recovered internet dongles and laptops. The explosives were hidden inside a mud wall of the Maradasa. Two women bomb makers who were arrested after a blast in a Bardwan house had earlier admitted their links with the Madarsa. NIA officials had also discovered a secret tunnel inside the Madarsa which could have been used by terrorists as a possible escape route. A tunnel discovered during a joint raid by the NIA and the West Bengal police. Cops are now taking help from the NSG to search for a nearby pond in the hope of discovering some explosives and other evidence. The Premier Probe Agency also seized a suspicious Tata Nano car park near the Madarsa. The Nano had a number plate which has been found to be fake. Curiously, the Nano carries a sticker which refers to Artillery Centre Nashik Road. The car was allegedly owned by one Yusuf Sheikh who reportedly headed the Simulia Madarsa. A resident of the neighbouring Krishnabhati village, Sheikh and his wife are reportedly missing at this time. Indrajit live with us from Kolkata for more on this developing story. Uh, Indrajit, that madarsa apparently has a lot that could potentially present itself as clues and evidence going forward in the Bardwan investigation. The discovery of that Tata Nano, the trawling of that pond, the NSG has also gotten involved right now. Big things are surfacing now. Well, that's right. Uh, you know, this madrasa is proving to be a very vital link as far as this entire probe into the October 2nd uh, uh, blast in Bardawan is concerned. You know, uh, the NIA uh, tells us that there are several incriminating evidence that they have got and that has led them to spread uh, this entire investigation not only in Bardawan but to other districts like in Nadia and Mushidabad as well. There were documents which proved that the, uh, Mushidabad, there are certain hideouts which might be connected to, to this. Remember one person, the main suspect who died in that blast, Shakil Ahmed, uh, he hails from Mushidabad so the NIA teams uh, did uh, visit his uh, hideouts in Mushidabad as well where he used to operate a burqa shop uh, in the Beldanga area of Mushidabad. There is another madrasa which has come to light in Mushidabad district ironically which was shut down on the very day when uh, this blast uh, took place in Bardwan on October 2nd. Uh, a Tata Nano has also been recovered from uh, the uh, site of this madrasa in uh, Bardwan and uh, ironically uh, it has a number plate registration of that of a motorbike which has now been traced in Moshidabad. So very vital links uh, being uh, you know unearthed at this uh, specific madrasa, a uh, wall women's madrasa here in Bardwan district. The NSG has also now been called in to dig the pond which uh, right. you know the NIA believes that perhaps there are more explosives that might be hidden into it. Thanks, Indra, for getting us that comprehensive update. It's a big story we'll be tracking through this week here on Headline Today. Thanks for that update.